One thing that I really dislike about Personus and about Studio One, which is my favorite DAW, is the fact that they are playing catch up with other DAWs. For example, they've just added stem separation. It's a good thing that they've added a nice feature like that, but it just doesn't sound as good as the other options that we have. In today's video, I just want to showcase that. I want to take the stem separation from Studio One, experiment with the stem separation from Logic and from FL Studio and see how it compares. I'm not hating on Studio One, but if you are adding features like that, the expectation for me is to not be behind. If you are not adding a feature that's comparable to other DAWs, I don't see the point of adding it. Let's see how the stem separation in Studio One works. The first thing that I want to do is create a simple sketch track. I've made a basic beat using the splice integration, which is an amazing feature if you are a producer. Fairly simple. We have a drum loop, bass, a melody, and some vocals. Let me bounce that. To extract the stems, you have to go to audio and separate stems. Then you have a couple of options that you can select. Vocals, drums, bass, and other. Hit OK. So the one is processing. And this is the result. Pretty good. I like the fact that after the stem export, it just mutes the original uh, beat and you have a folder with the stems. It's an amazing feature. Now, if I want to see the difference between the, the two, if I flip the phase with the mix tool, we can hear the difference. So it's not a big difference, but it's there. Let's uh, listen to the stems and see where the stem separation in size to the one is just a bit behind. These are the vocals. This is in this section, you can clearly hear that it failed to recognize the, the vocals. The drums. Pretty good. The bass. and the music. So from my perspective as a mixing engineer that I want to use this feature in a mixing scenario or even mastering scenario, it's just not possible to do that because it's not up to par with the other options that we have. Now, what I want to do is take the beat, do the stem separation, in Logic and in FL and see what are the results there. Now I am in uh, Logic. Let's separate the stems. Let's do the face flip. And you can hear that there is a smaller difference between the original instrumental and the stem separation done in Logic versus Studio One. Uh, 
let's hear the actual stems. And let's see if it failed as to the one when it comes to the vocal. We have some artifacts, but it's much better than this. Let me jump into FL Studio. Let's export them. Again, we have some artifacts, but it's much cleaner and the artifacts don't matter that much in context. Let's do the face flip, original stems with FL Studio. It seems that Logic Pro stayed more closer to the source. Now, like I've said, I'm not hating on Studio One 7. I actually like that it feels a bit more snappy and it has a couple of features that are welcomed, like uh, stem separation. But I don't like the fact that they are playing catch up. They are behind, they are adding features that are not up to par with what's on the market. As you can hear from my example, Studio One is the worst from FL and Logic when it comes to stem separation. They've added the clip launcher. Again, I didn't use it, but it feels that they are adding features that are present in other doors just so they can get people from uh, there. I like that we have stem separation in Studio One 7, but I don't like how it sounds. I think it needs updates. I really don't understand why they are releasing stuff that are not top. They are just mm, there. It's a complaint that I have. And I will have more videos showcasing Studio One 7 and a couple of good things and a couple of bugs again. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about stem separation uh, from uh, Studio 17. See you guys uh, really, really soon. Cheers.